In this video, we're going to show you how to use the multimeter to measure voltages. We'll start with two simple circuits like you see here. First I'm going to do is go to the circuit's homepage and create a new breadboard circuit. This is because I want to simulate. You'll notice it says loading the unnamed circuit at the bottom. First thing I like to do is click on the little gear icon and give it a name. Instead of the unnamed circuit, it's measuring voltage with the multimeter! Exclamation point. I'm going to go back to this icon so I can go back to this simulator. And I don't actually need this breadboard, so I'm going to select it and I can hit the trash can button or I can hit the delete key. So the first thing I want to do, now that the breadboard is gone, is add some components. So I hit the components plus button and I scroll and I find a 9 volt battery and when I click it once it sticks to my mouse and then I click it again and it drops on the stage. Now I want to find the multimeter. There it is. I click it once, it's attached, and I'll drop it. And now I'll hide the components window. And now my battery is sideways and I'd like to make it straight up. So I can click on it once and I can come over here and press the rotate button. Or I can just hit the R key. That shift R goes counterclockwise and R goes clockwise. And I'm going to connect the negative terminals of the battery and the multimeter and then the positive terminals. So let's do the negatives first and I'm going to make these black and then here's the positive to the positive and when I press start simulation, voila! Our 9 volt battery reads 9 volts and that's what we would expect. So that's the basics of using the multimeter to measure voltage. Let's take it a step further and build a little circuit. We'll move this over, let's stop the simulation, get some more components. Let's use the AA battery and I'm going to show you something cool. With the battery selected I can hold down command if I'm on a Mac or control if I'm on a PC. And hit C for copy and then V for paste and I've copied and pasted. And what I'm going to do is connect these two batteries in series. So I need to rotate one of them like so. And then let's connect the negative and the positive. And let's get a multimeter. And we'll connect it up here. And I think what I'm going to do is move this one over. And now you notice it's selected. If I hold down the shift key, I can select the next one. And I can move them together. I can also do that by holding down shift and drawing a box and then moving them. Okay, let's connect the multimeter. Let's actually make both of these gray because they're going to end up in the background. Color doesn't affect how the simulator performs. But now when we hit start simulation, we see 1.5 volts in series with 1.5 volts adds the two voltages. So we have three volts. Great. There's another good example of how to use the multimeter to measure voltages. Let's take it a step further and add a couple components. I'll stop the simulation, I'll go into Components Plus, and I'm going to add a resistor, and an LED. We'll hide this, and let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing when I connect these. I'm going to connect the negative terminal of the battery to one side of the resistor, the other side of the resistor to the negative terminal or the cathode of the LED, and then the positive terminal of the LED or the anode to the positive side of our two series of batter batteries in series. I'm going to color these so they're a little easier to see. So black, I'll make this blue because it's kind of in the middle. And let's zoom out and press start simulation. And the LED is lighting up. It's not very bright, so let's change this resistor so it gets a little brighter. Instead of one kilo ohm, let's set this to 300 ohms. Okay, it's a little bit brighter. How about 150 ohms? Okay, that's a little bit brighter. So, you'll notice that the voltage across the two batteries went down as we lowered this resistance. And that's because in 123D circuits, the batteries that you're simulating with act like real batteries. So if you start to draw more current, the voltage drops across the load, across the batteries. 
let's take it a step further and let's add in a couple more multimeters. So let's stop the simulation. We'll get this guy out of the way a little bit. We'll get these a little bit closer. And there's one multimeter. And there's the next. And what we're going to do is measure the voltage drops across the LED and across the resistor. So let's connect the resistor. And then the LED. Let's add some color. And let's zoom out and start the simulation. Okay, the LED lights up. We see that across our two batteries, we have 2.99 volts. And we see that the voltage drop across the resistor is 1.06 volts. And the voltage drop across the LED is 1.93 volts. And we notice that 1.06 plus 1.93 equals 2.99. And if you're familiar with Kirchhoff's laws, you'll know that Kirchhoff's second law states that the voltage gains and drops in a given loop are always going to add up to zero. And here we have a loop. It goes out of the battery, through the resistor, across the LED, and back into the battery, and then across to the other battery. That's a closed loop. And we're going up 2.99 volts from the two batteries and we're going down 1.06 volts in the resistor and down 1.93 volts across the LED. So there you have it. There's Kirchhoff's second law applied and simulated in 1, 2, 3D circuits. Go ahead, try it for yourself, 1, 2, 3D circuits.